right, so what I've done is put everything together so far. I've actually taken these little clamps here and mounted it, but I also have these little pieces I printed out to make so that the four corners would be exactly all lined up. And what I've done with that is I have a little puncher here. When you mark it in the spot you need to and push, it snaps. So it marks a little spot where I need to drill on here. So I punched all the holes multiple times. Hopefully there's enough mark for me to be able to drill. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the drilling. So I've moved the whole entire inside assembly down and you can actually see the marks here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do is drill out where those are. And hopefully everything turns out okay. So everything's marked and ready to get drilled. I still need to drill holes for the main uh, motor, the axle for the, uh, the carriage on the X and Y on both ends on where the motors go and the motor mounts. And I need to do the motor mounts too, but I want to get the first part of these all mounted good in there first before I continue on because I want to make sure that that's going to sit in there good. But I'm not going to go show me drilling these because it's pretty much using a drill. I got one of those step drill bits. I don't know if that's going to work. or And also I have just regular drill bits too. And the cat's getting into more stuff she's not supposed to. Goofy cats. What would we do with them or without them? I don't know. <laughs> it's cats. Anyway, that's it for this part. Well, the holes turned out pretty good. I'm using one of these bits. This is one of the cheap ones I got from China. It's working pretty good, actually, surprisingly. It's a metric one. It was like, what was it, about $10. You get three different bits. You get this one, too. Pretty good. I don't know. I'm worn out. <laughs> I got two holes left in my my drill battery died on me. But it's leaving all these little uh, shrapnel stuff on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But they're looking pretty good. I just got the two over on that corner. I got all the rest of them done. Like that. and All that. <laughs> There's my painting I did. I don't know if you want to see that or not. Anyway. That's it for me for the moment so <laughs> So that worked. I was able to get all the bolts in. There's a cat. Got the bolts in there. And it actually moves a lot smoother than it was. And next I'm going to put these in. I got those. They line up pretty well. Everything looks pretty even. I even measured it with the calipers. It's about the same exact all the way up to the bottom. This is bent out a little bit over here because the tension on it or something is making it curve. But it's got enough flex in it where I can move that down there. So I got to measure the holes for that and drill those out. And I got the motor mounts down on this side and the other bar mount there. 
And that's pretty much it. So this is how far I've gotten. I've got the uh, these put in here. All I did was put bearings inside of these little things here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And I drilled a hole on that side. But I got all the <clears throat> holes, holes drilled and bolted in there. I got holes drilled for these little rods. It's just a piece of thread that I can put the uh, bearings on. There, there's four of those. One on this end, one on the other end, one on that end, and actually two on that end. We got the holes for that. I got the side rods mounted in with the bed in there. This is the one thing I was scared about is this actually working and fitting. It actually seems to be in there okay. Seems a little bit wobbly now, but once I get the uh, lead screws in there, it won't be so bad. And I printed out new bearings for the rods here because those are only have. I don't know why I designed it with only one bolt on each side, but I printed out new ones with bolts on both sides. Hopefully that will be better for those. But after I got everything bolted up, this seems to be up here seems to be moving a lot smoother. And that's pretty much where I'm at.